As you build your integration interfaces using HealthShare Health Connect Cloud, you will naturally enable other systems to communicate with your productions. In this video, you will learn how to create and configure firewall rules that define permitted communication with other systems. You will also see how to locate important network addresses for your deployments. Networking scenarios in Health Connect Cloud deployments typically fall into one of two major categories, inbound messages arriving to your deployment and outbound messages being sent from your deployment. In general, firewall rules only need to be configured to allow or restrict inbound data. And the same is likely true for other systems with which your Health Connect Cloud deployment communicates. So for outbound communication, it will typically be the responsibility of whoever handles those external applications to set up their own firewall rules. By creating firewall rules, you can restrict the IP addresses that are allowed to send messages to your Health Connect Cloud deployment. You can configure two types of firewall rules in Health Connect Cloud, private rules and external rules, sometimes referred to as public rules. Private firewall rules are used to control inbound communication that happens within your virtual private network, or VPN. For instance, you may want to receive messages from another application in your organization's corporate network. Using InterSystems Network Connect, you can connect your VPN gateway to all of your Health Connect Cloud deployments. To learn more about setting up InterSystems Network Connect, refer to the resources alongside this video. External or public firewall rules are used to control inbound communication from outside your VPN. For example, an external vendor might send orders to your Health Connect Cloud deployment. Let's take a look at how to create each type of firewall rule in Health Connect Cloud. From the overview page of your Health Connect Cloud deployment, navigate to the firewall page. On the firewall page, there are two sections, one for private rules and one for external rules. First, click the Create Rule button to create a private rule. The ensuing pop-up window, Add Firewall Rule, contains several criteria, which are the same for both private and external rule creation. These rules will always be of type custom, and you can select your protocol from the next drop-down menu. Here, we will use TCP. Next, you can define a port or port range. The values you enter in this field will define what ports allow inbound communication as part of this firewall rule. Whenever possible, it is best practice to use a range of ports rather than a single port. You can only define ports higher than 1024. Ports 1024 and below are reserved for the Health Connect Cloud system. If you want to create this rule for a single port, you can enter a single value, such as 5000. To expose a range of contiguous ports with this rule, you can write the range with a single dash separating the low and high ports. For example, you may want to expose ports 2100 through 2199. You can also add non-contiguous ports or port ranges by separating the entries with commas. Next, the CIDR block defines what IP addresses are allowed to contact your deployment at the exposed port range you provided. Since we are creating a private rule, this block of IP addresses will be within your own network. IP addresses are comprised of four 8-bit fields separated by periods. The first two or three fields typically indicate network information, depending on the network mask. The remaining fields indicate host information. Consider a scenario where you have created a VPN hub using InterSystems Network Connect, and you want to allow communication from all IP addresses within that VPN hub that begin with 192.168.3, allowing the fourth field to be any host ID. You could define this range as a CIDR block for this firewall rule by entering 192.168.3.0 slash 24. The slash 24 at the end of this block dictates that the first 24 bits of the IP address, 192.168.3, must be as defined. Finally, you should enter a description for this rule that will help you identify it later. As your firewall rules accumulate, it will become very difficult to identify the purpose and audience of a rule solely by its port range and CIDR block. Here, let's assume we are creating this rule to allow the Cambridge IT group in our network to contact our Health Connect Cloud deployment. Once you have added all your criteria, click Add to create this rule. Note that your deployment must be part of your VPN for a private rule to be successfully created. If successful, your rule is displayed in the list of private rules. Next, let's create an external rule. If external connections are not already enabled for your deployment, you will need to enable them now. Click the Enable External Connections toggle 
then click OK to confirm. Health Connect Cloud will take a few moments to enable external connections for your deployment. The card for your deployment will read updating while this is in progress. When creating an external firewall rule, you will add all the same criteria as you would for a private firewall rule. Here, let's create a TCP rule that exposes port 5001. This time, the CIDR block will allow a single IP address, 12.10.2.97, to send communications to your deployment. Recall that in the previous example, the block ended with slash 24 to indicate that the first 24 bits of the address must be as defined. This time, by ending with slash 32, the rule dictates that all 32 bits of the address must be as defined. As a result, only IP address 12.10.2.97 will be allowed to send messages to the deployment on port 5001 via this rule. Finally, provide a description. Perhaps this rule is allowing a business operation in City Hospital's lab system to send data to your deployment. Once you add the rule, it should display in your list of external rules. Now that you have created rules allowing other systems to communicate with your deployment, let's take a look at where to find the networking information those systems will require. Navigate to the Overview page of your deployment. In the Health Connect Cloud Details table, you will find several important pieces of information needed for your deployment's inbound and outbound communication, including four fields containing IP addresses. The first two fields, CIDR block and virtual IP address, are used for communication within your VPN using private firewall rules. The CIDR block is a block of IP addresses used for this deployment's private network. These addresses are used for networking tasks within the deployment, such as configuring a mirror. The virtual IP address is this deployment's specific IP address to be referenced within the VPN when other systems communicate with it. Even if you have multiple VPN gateways connected to InterSystems Network Connect, Systems on those VPNs will use this IP address to communicate with this deployment. For example, if another deployment within your network is trying to send the output of a business operation to this deployment, it would use the virtual IP address, 192.168.1.254 in this example, as the endpoint. The next two addresses, source NAT address and external IP, are used for external communication using external firewall rules. The source NAT address is the address you should give to external systems that expect to receive information from your Health Connect Cloud deployment. Much like how you have created a firewall rule to allow communication from specific IP addresses on specific ports, those systems can use this address to allow communication from your deployment. The external IP address, on the other hand, should be used when external systems are sending information to your Health Connect Cloud deployment. From the perspective of your deployment, the source NAT address is relevant for outbound external communications, and the external IP is relevant for inbound external communications. Now that you have seen how to create both private and external firewall rules and to locate important IP addresses associated with your deployment, you can define the inbound and outbound communications that will be allowed for your Health Connect Cloud deployment.